a guest in the fantastic beat spot and it is none other than Nicky Wire because the Manic Street Preachers are Six Music's new artist in residence or artists in residence I should say I suppose I'm not sure how we pluralise these things <laughs> Nicky good morning how are you? I am creaking I'm <laughs> stiff I'm broken I was on a ferry at one o'clock in the morning oh doing Wordle trying to keep my, <laughs> which is a new experience for me <laughs> how, how did you get on? I mean you know Do you know it's an absolute nightmare one it was a real tough one, going right down to the last, but I did get it in the end, but it's a tough expect, one. I won't give it away. I would expect no less with your vocabulary, even when <laughs> seasick, a Wordle pro. Um, uh, you, yes, so I on, did actually do Quirdle, which is four at a time as well, and I oh, nailed blimey. that. Blimey, I mean, you're well above my pay grade right there. So Isle of Wight Festival at the weekend, Glastonbury coming up next weekend, and from tonight you are Six Music's new artists in residence. What can you tell us about the show? Just a real pleasure to be asked, to be honest, at our age. And, you know, I think we did why 985 was the greatest year for music ever, which I firmly believe. OK. You know, um, uh, Songs for the City, which is a lovely one as well to do. And James did a music in another tongue, which is not English speaking uh, uh, songs, which is brilliant. Mm-hmm. Some of which I've never heard before. Um, some songs inspired by book titles. It was a real challenge. Really enjoyed it. Really yeah. enjoyed it. I love that thing of kind of, um, you know, putting a frame around a playlist. That's how I always think of it. It makes it so special, doesn't it? Even when it's songs that are intimately familiar to you, lovely to be able to, to share them with six music listeners. Um, Absolutely. Yeah. First... I remember when we used to mix tapes on cassettes when we started in Richie oh, yeah. would always do thematic. Did he? He had to do thematic ones, obviously. Oh, you know. Have you still and got any of those? I've got them all. I've got them all. Yes, they're in my very, my very important little box mm. in my uh, archive. Yeah, real treasures. So yeah. the, the first four episodes of the the series are going to be available on BBC Sounds, and they're right there right now. Obviously, the program's coming out at nine pm. Um, so I think you've got different cities first. So this is you from going from Swansea to Lisbon, Johannesburg, Rio de Janeiro. We're travelling all over tonight, are we? We are indeed, yes. But John Cale, Paris 1919, oh, Silver yeah. Jews, Dal- Dallas, which I, I just, David Berman's lyrics are just so extraordinary. I absolutely love him. And, and Galveston, of course, it just could have gone on forever. We had to stop ourselves, actually. We were told, you're giving us too many songs. Oh, really? Were you? <laughs> yeah. That's yeah. a good sign. That's per- perfect feedback. Um, we've also got Glastonbury anthems. Obviously, you've got um, Glastonbury coming up this weekend. You're going to be playing on the other stage. Yes. We are. Um, I think it's our fourth decade at Glastonbury. 90s, noughties, 2010s, 2020s. Oh, fourth man. decade. That's pretty good, but, isn't it? Yeah, and uh, one every year. So they're usually quite eventful, so it should be all right. How did you decide what your anthems were going to be for um, the uh, through, show? Through memory and just through trawling through some stuff as well. But a lot of it's just stick, stuff sticks in your head, you know, old stuff. Shirley Bassey doing Light My Fire. I remember that, thinking that was just so cool and restrained. And Wet Leg last year, I think it was the biggest crowd I've ever seen at the park stage, going absolutely mad. And oh, yeah. Suede, 93. It just lots of it just comes flooding back. Because I do watch a lot of telly, as you know. You love a bit of telly. So, well, yes, exactly. We're going to bring you plenty of coverage. Don't worry, you can catch up on it all. Once you get back, you can firmly glue yourself to the sofa for a while and enjoy all that. I might even make it back after I've been on. <laughs> oh, text if you do. Text in and let us know. I will do. Um, and, and obviously, you mentioned this already, but I have to pick up and just ask for a little bit more on the best year for music ever being 1985 because that we've taken a track from that playlist to play out now yeah when i went when i went back i just it just it was unbelievable you know from slave to the rhythm and grace jones or hounds of love kate bush into the groove madonna um that petrol emotion v2 jesus mary chain psycho candy felt Mm. primitive painters prince raspberry beret sister mercy i mean i think it was i think it was a bit of a reply to james acaster's ridiculous proposition that 2016 was the he's greatest he's got his 2016 podcast ever. has he done his has Come he done on. the quilt album yet though because i don't think he has and i think that's the best album of 2016 i keep meaning to get in touch with him about this but i think i'm seeing it at glastonbury so i might bring it up <laughs> i but think you need to tell him i will t- well, I'm going to tell him to his face don't worry about it i don't mind saying it on the radio but i'll tell him in person <laughs> um 85 though were you best placed to enjoy this this feast of music that was out there I think because I think most people, when you're 16, between 15 and 18 is when everything resonates the most. And that's probably why it's, all those records stuck with me so much. Yeah. And, you know, we just sort of finished our O-levels and we've sort of 
breaking free from the chains of school a bit. And me and Jim started writing songs together. And, you know, the hair was looking good. Oh, yeah. The yeah. jeans were tight and life was, <laughs> life was brilliant. Those jeans and white. White is the snow in those days. Well, early MSP days, anyway. Yeah, indeed. So it just, I don't know, everything felt free then. And just so much music, listening to the radio, listening to Janice and John Peel and Kid Jensen and stuff like that. It was mm-hmm. just... Love Vigilante is my new order. I remember you and that. Just me and my mum listening to that, thinking it's one of the best story, little stories in a record I've ever heard. So yeah. it just kind of, they frame your memory, I think. Well, listen, thank you so much for telling us about this wonderful series. Like I say, it's there on sound, the first four episodes for everyone to enjoy already. Nicky Wyatt, hopefully I'll see you in a field this weekend in Somerset, crossing my fingers. Indeed, I'll, I'll, I'll have the white exactly. jeans on. I'll have the white jeans on. Me too, I'm back in them now. It's back in. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of love. Take care, Thanks, darling. Bye. Bye, bye. Bye, bye. bye. The wonderful Nikki Wire on BBC Six Music.